Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. so I only have about 30 seconds left, but I do want to ask you, everybody's confused about the timeline. The police have really, you know, let out that they know from 8 to 9, uh, Zana and Ethan were at the, the Sigma Chi frat party. Then they're kind of unaware of their whereabouts until 1.45 a.m. arriving home. But then when they spoke to you, they seemed to indicate, no, no, we know that from 9 until 1.45 they were at the Sigma Chi frat party. Do you think this is like sort of nuanced words or syntax or what do you make of this, you know, unusual reporting because we can't get them to straighten it out. Sure. I think it's sort of an evolving timeline that police are sort of narrowing in. And in that case, I spoke with uh, Idaho State Police uh, spokesperson Aaron Snell in a, an interview last Tuesday, uh, also with a Moscow police uh, captain. And they clarified for me that indeed they do mean now that between the hours of 9 p.m. and 1.45 that Zana and Ethan were at that party over the entire duration. The thing they're still looking for is any information from fraternity members or anybody who else uh, also attended that party, that's sort of what they mean when they're still seeking information about uh, their whereabouts during that timeline. Wow. Because they even came out later and said, we are looking for the gap in the timeline, where they traveled, et cetera. So I really wish they'd be, you know, a little less clear than mud on these, um, these very complicated issues that the public could be helpful with. Um,
Next, on Fargo. Well, that was different.